Alright, so welcome back everybody to some more Super Metroid. Um, today, I'm hoping to finish the game, uh, which isn't totally out of the realm of possibility. I'm also trying something new with my recording setup, uh, and I, I did test it a little bit beforehand, just to make sure, you know, nothing horrific will happen from it. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling energized. Uh, to finish off this playthrough before I have to do nothing of actual use or enjoyment in a few hours, but that's totally fine. That's it's all good. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's going to be quite the uh, the grind and quite unfun. Uh, but in any event, I like how these fish mostly just ignore you. Unlike the, uh, unlike the future versions of them. I guess you could say that the X are kind of more hostile. If you really wanted to put an in-universe lore explanation. But... There we go. Okay, there's, there's some tomfoolery here. Because otherwise, there's, there's no blocks. That restrict this. Oh, you need to shine spark. How the fuck do you get this one off? Shit, oops. So you need to fall. Okay. So it, it's almost like you need to run from this room. And I'm gonna fuck that up. You need to run from this room all the way out. Drop as soon as you get to the ledge, and then keep going. Okay, that doesn't seem too awful. As long as I don't get locked on this side of the barricade. I gotta give you 16... There's probably, what, 24 power bombs in the whole game? When you really think about it, that's kind of a lot for a Metroid game. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to do all that again, won't I? Yeah. You gotta, like, know exactly perfectly where to do it. Let me actually make sure I know where I'm doing this first before I commit to it. Because I'm gonna commit to this... I'm gonna get it right... No, no, I think it's right here, right? This big piece of sea lettuce. Because <laughs> I'm going to get this wrong, and then I'm going to be pissed that I got it wrong, and I have to do it again. Shit. Well, the good news is, is I'm, I'm getting some pickups. So it's not that. It's not this. Because these blocks have to be breakable, so you can speed boot. Unless it's the block directly to the left of that. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's like this space right here. Right? Yeah. So I'm right here. It's a straight shot. It is this big piece of sea lettuce. Okay. So now the only thing I have to do is actually pull this off correctly. I believe today we saw the sector 40 grows to be the sector 40. Vice versa, I'm sorry. Shit. Yeah, a bunch of crabs are just crabs. I think okay. I'm gonna just crack this up now, I swear. I'm gonna open the door before I need to start doing anything. I keep shooting the door and not doing fast enough. Because I think he's seamless, actually. I'm gonna resort to Why did you say that? Resort. I need a heartbeat in there first. Ah, is that what I was afraid of? Absolutely. I have a feeling I was gonna show up this time, you gotta be quick. It's like as soon as it goes in. Shit. No, this. Okay. So as soon as I come out, I push it down. It's not like the other people. I have to push it down as soon as I come out. I shoot that fucking crab. Remember, I can't jump. I can't jump my body because I jump like a chance for it. I'm really good over, actually. Well, I'm going to start with the party and basically have to fast forward immediately. That's what I'm going to do. I'm literally matching now. You have to do it on a perfect instant. Or you can load in your actual action register. That's what I'm going to do. Well, why are you doing this? This is just one business adventure. Like, I'm literally matching. You have to fly off, keep running, and then shine spark. Just try to try to match that as I go as well. I'm missing every single time now. It is possible. I think you're trying to get your partner's music. Yeah, you have to do it there. This is hard. This is probably the hardest one in the game. Most of the time, it's easy. Like, I'm literally matching now. It's getting fucked. You have to do it in this room. Yeah, okay. Let's try to do it in that room. Find out. Just need to see if I maintain one of these pieces. Let's see. Not sure. Fuck. I'm going there's only three points for you to do it. You're doing the previous room. You're doing that room right on the ledge. We're going to do it after you jump. I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Yeah, it's not going to get it at all. I'm literally going to do it at all. Okay, let's try this. Oh, okay, that's what you're going to do. You're going to get it right at the door. And then launch yourself out. Okay, I got it. And now it's going to be free to restore this game. Technically, no. Shit, it's already. Oh, you're still going to be tanked, but that's not that good. Shit. Yeah, oh, fuck. I don't want to do a shit crap. The crap is going to be fucked up there. Because I come out with a ton of crap. It's literally right on this. So I have it. I just don't got to remember where I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it right here. 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 Okay, yeah! Got it! Beautiful! <laughs> On the glitchiest run possible, I go through the door while crouching. Alright, game. Okay. 
Oh shit. Okay. That's pretty funny in all things, all things considered. It is a real shame that they didn't make a lot of these types of games, these Metroid, uh, well, they're not, well, I mean, it is Metroidvania, but specifically Metroid games. It's a shame that Nintendo didn't really make a bunch of these, because I, I think that these are way more interesting than Zelda. Like, Zelda has a lot of these elements, but it, it's not the same. Oh, shit. Got it. It's not the same. So how the fuck? You gotta come from probably the other room, I bet. It's fine. Maybe you fall from above and you exit. No? Alright, so you gotta come from the other room, it looks like. Or something like that. Again, remembering this game doesn't show you hidden rooms. Until you discover them. Oh, I see. That's why this is annoying. Oh, it's those things! Cool! Except this time they're actually kind of vicious and they shoot shit. They don't just wait for you to, to do dumb shit, alright. Got it. And I beat the crab out, by the way. I beat it out. I like how, yeah, I like how they uh, they put it on the map there. Oh, and I beat that one too. Alright. I have no clue what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just fucking around in Meridia. If I see something interesting, I go for it. Oh shit, I don't know why I just did that. I don't know why I just did that. Okay. So I have no clue what the fuck just happened. I'm just completely oblivious. Things happening here specifically. So this is just a dead end. There's nothing here. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like maybe there's speed booster. No, there's grapple points though. Maybe I should investigate that room below. So let, let's go to the far right. I'm going to investigate it. Because obviously what I'm supposed to do is grapple across. But I don't, don't want to do that yet. Let's see. Let's see this. Water pirates. Which are immune to the normal beam. I like how he parried it. It looked like he legitimately parried it. So, are they, what are they weak to? He's not weak to super missiles. I can't hurt this type of pirate. Maybe it's only weak from behind. Nope, he parries it. He detects the missile and he parries it. I don't think I can kill them. Well, oh shit, that hurts. I think they do a lot. I, was, I wasn't looking at my health beforehand. I think they do a lot of damage. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe there's something in that pit? Otherwise, this is kind of a useless room. I don't think I can get back out this way. Unless I can freeze this thing. But there's no way to know when it's, like, right above me.
Yeah, oh, shit. I shot it one time too many. Shit. I think you can wall jump off of a same wall and get higher. I just gotta get the somersault out. I keep canceling it. Because I think I keep hitting up. Let me, let me try this. This is not my preferred method of wall jumping. There we go. It's it's kind of weird. You gotta like delay it slightly. Oh shit. Well, yeah. It looks like there's something in this room, unless this was the pit I was in before. Oh well. Or this can happen. Let me make sure there's nothing in this passageway. Nope, it's just a flat-out passageway. Hello. Oh, fuck off. They're using this shit from Mario Brothers in here. I can't even kill your young. Don't give me that shit. Though this is the most unlikely scenario ever in Metroid history. So what the hell is the point of this for me? Well, there, there's a pickup at the top of this room. That's basically what it looks like this room is for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a restore point as I keep pressing the wrong button. I almost loaded my restore point, mind you. I should make restore points after the purpose of each restore point is done. Alright, so I don't know. Maybe it looks like you got to go over from this side. Oh, okay. He, he throws you up. Is that kind of what I'm supposed to do? I see. <laughs> this is a really weird game. There's a lot of really weird stuff. Does the spinning, like, Koopa shit. Does the spinning Koopa shell attack from, like, a Mario Brothers game. And they're all immune to power bombs, which, in every, like, other form of medi Metroid media, power bombs are, like, the most powerful thing that you could hit people with, which is why they don't really give them to you in Other M at all. Like, because it's just vaporization. Ah, oh, fuck, that time I did it too early. It's literally just vaporization. Like, it would, it should basically disintegrate shit at the molecular level. Alright, by the way, I was rendering the part where I did this before. This is very oddly therapeutic to watch when you speed it up. Oh shit, almost had it. Gotta get a little speed. Almost. What? My head clearly contacted this fucking thing. Oh, you have to stand up. Okay. <laughs> she can't grab it. She has to grab it boot first instead of head first. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Well, I think that's it for this room. I'm just going to get out of here. Thanks, buddy. Too bad you're all going to die. That's the worst part. All these creatures are just going to die, by the way. That's how this game ends. Spoiler alert, if you've never seen it. All these creatures just die. They go extinct, basically, unless they're preserved somewhere else. It's awful. No, no one survives. It's like uh, that scene in Rogue One. Now, I know that that's a little more recent than this game, so I won't go any further. But it's like, oh, you know, let, let's save these animals. We won't kill them. We won't be able to powerbomb them. By the way, they're all going to die anyway. A horrible, a horrible death, mind you. Awful. And for me, that, that was kind of spoiled, although unknowingly, when I played uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Because one of the, uh, the adventure mode challenges is to literally uh, escape from the planet Zebes, or to escape from Grinstars. This weird platforming challenge that you have to do with characters. Uh, 
I should probably make it to restore point. That's the nice thing, is that playing these old games, you can make restore points, so you don't have to keep doing, oh, I have to clear that room again to get another chance. No, I'll just reload my restore point. Thank you very much. Okay. This is like a midway point. I should probably investigate. They really like doing this vertical hat shit. They really want to show off the power of the fucking SNES, didn't they? I could just do this. Alright, obviously there's gotta be something here. Don't give me this shit. I'm not sure. Played a lot of your fucking games. I'm sick of your bullshit. Okay, just this. Oh. It's actually nice of them. They put a uh, pickup farmers here. Gimme, gimme. I wish they marked these rooms on the map. That's the only reason I think that these rooms even exist, is just to give you a way to refill anything that you need. Not that this game is particularly difficult to me. I thought I, I, thought I could have 20 power bombs. Maybe only certain enemies can get back power bombs. Alright, whatever. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Oh, we're back in Brinstar. So this is a short way back to Brinstar. But if I open this, it's going to close again. So I don't know if I want to leave this way. There's no real reason for me to leave this way, to be completely honest. I just need to go back to Meridia. There is apparently one room I didn't get into. I never figured out how to get into it. So maybe there was like a, an x-ray scope something I could have done there. But there's no reason for me to go back. Also, I don't know if I explained this before, but the uh, reserve tanks basically work like Mega Man X, but unlike Mega Man X, they work automatically. Um, so you don't actually have to interact with them or do anything with them. They will automatically regenerate your health. So for instance, actually, now's a, a good time to actually check myself. If I go over, what, what button is R? This one. If I go over, my reserve tanks basically hold uh, 100 uh, points of health. So if you have it set to auto, when you run out of health, I believe it will automatically restore a full energy tank for you. Or you could set it, I believe, to manual as well. Um, yeah, see? So I get set it to manual. Basically what it will do is it will inject those tanks back into Samus' health bar. It's really kind of silly, though, in this game. Because why not just add three extra energy tanks? I mean, I guess maybe memory space reasons. So they were just like, we'll just make something else. But it, it's kind of weird. This is what they use in the X series, though. And I think some of the later Mega Mans use this. They It just lets you be able to heal whenever you need to. Like, you could farm up extra health that you can then use to uh, heal later on. Oh, fuck. As I said, store points are amazing. I'm dead serious, because that, that would have pissed me off. So, like, alright. There, there was another grapple point off screen. You gotta practice those Tarzan like reactions, you know what I mean? Okay. Don't need to be stylish, you just need to make it. Alright. Ah, oh, come on. If you're going to make a hard mode, don't put the enemies on that mode, too. Shit. Alright, well, there's clearly something else here. Look at this. Secret room. I didn't even go up at all. Alright, what is this? Like, the sewers of Zebes? That's... I keep... Uh, this is a save room. I figure why not, you know what I mean? So just, just save up. Make a, a, a hard save. 
Oh god god, it's this shit. It's actually easier for me to bounce off of one wall than it is for me to bounce off of two. I just did that. Oh no shit, it's these things. What are they? Mock Troids, I think they're called? Yeah, I think these are Mock Troids. I don't think they're real Metroids. Oh shit. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Whatever. I don't even need it. I don't know why I'm sweating bullets over ammunition. I don't even really need it. It's just in my instinct to do that, to pick up... Pickups. Yeah, I really didn't think of a joke beyond that or anything like that. Is it this wall? No. What the fuck? Oh, speed booster, okay. See, look how much sense that makes. <laughs> Alright. I think we're getting somewhere. It's pretty cool. This is like the most in-depth area of the... Oh, fuck me. Why well, I don't remember this fucking thing. It's like Ceres a bit. They really love this, like, creepy wildlife boss theme, you know what I mean? Shit. Well, the good news is the slowdown on, on the SNES actually works in my favor here, because it makes it easier for me to see and aim where he's going. Would you believe it? There you go, fucker. Yo, he's clipping through walls now! Shit. Got one. Alright, we'll be fine. Shit, I hit the tail. Woo! That was easy mode. Wait, I didn't get my pickup. Damn straight I'm getting my fucking reward. Maybe not. Hmm. I don't... The, re the battle was reward enough. You don't need one. Okay. Sure. Sure, game. I love the, the boss room clear theme, by the way, in Metroid. Something about it is just, like, really calming but eerie. I don't know how else to really put it. I love this fucking franchise, man. Oh shit. I love it, man. It's so good. Okay, is that it? Just cross the, the sand. I pretty much missed a whole big, big room or two back there, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, I should have explored that other room. So maybe I should go back. I didn't explore the up path. Yeah, so I think I should go back. It's no biggie. It's like two minutes of running. But... I love this fucking franchise, man. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't tell me it's impossible. Oh, no. You know what it is? You gotta, you gotta start from in here. You gotta start from in here. Kill the mock Troid. I think it is. Right? Now, are they just like a different species of Metroid? Or are they just organisms that look like Metroids? It's like the uh, the spotty bulb orbs. Those aren't actually the spotty bulb orbs young. It's, it's kind of this weird thing that Pikmin does. Where it's like, oh, the spotty bulb orbs, uh, that's not actually their young. That's just a bunch of creatures that look like it's young. It's, it's kind of weird. Like, I know that that exists in nature. It's just like, why did that there? Oh, fuck. Don't tell me this is one way. Oh, no. Here we go. Beautiful. So technically, we've never seen what a spotty bulb orb's young looks like. That, that's just never happened. Isn't it? This? Oh, shit. 
Am I flipping? Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I'm fucked. No, I'm not. Alright. That's why you can shoot into there. That Now it all makes sense. Okay. In any event, I'm going to explore this room now. Right? Was it this room? No, it was the room before this room. Okay. I don't even know if those things hurt you. Let me save, actually, since I just killed that boss. The best part is, is I actually do own a, uh, a USB <clears throat> Super Nintendo... Let me slow down. Uh, a USB Super Nintendo controller. So, if, if the Wii U accepted it, I don't think it does. In theory, I could play this on an original uh, SNES controller. However, I don't want to. Now, what the fuck is this? Oh, those are Pitfall. Okay. Oh, so that's a fast way out. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll explore the right side of this room in a minute. Silly me, I went the correct way. Okay, I know there's a crab somewhere in this. Look at that! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Look at that! I'm great! Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, so there's an easy mode and a hard mode. If you want to practice your skills. Whoa, man! There was also that room from ages ago. I think it's the one literally right next to this. I never, like, fully completed that room. It's, like, weird. I never did everything in it. I think that we're going down over there. We're gonna fight that boss coming up, if I remember. If I don't remember the name of it. I think, isn't it, like, a big seahorse? Whatever this universe's seahorses are, for the, or at least wherever the Zabesian ones are. I hate these things, by the way. I hate all these things. It's kind of funny that these enemies would later be reused in the, the nocturnal area instead of Sector uh, 4. It's kind of weird. Alright, well, clearly, it's a fake wall. Weird camera tricks and shit. Sure, nope. Alright. Because there's an enemy down there. You can just never get to him. That's it. Okay, I see what you have to do. You have to make stepping stones out of these things. Alright. Oh, good. Double health farming. Look at this. This is the future. The future's now. Okay. I'm gonna get a little more and then I'll be good. Um, I guess for the most part, and I, I know someone someone did message me and say that I use um too much. I, I am sorry. It is it's a bad habit that kind of formed. I didn't always used to do it, but these words I like to call them crutch words because that's kind of what they are. You know, people will say um uh to like stagger themselves through a conversation to kind of take a moment to collect themselves. I, I just, it, it's, a, it's a bad habit I developed. It's, it's something I really need to kind of stop doing. So I am a little more mindful of it. Because I'm not, you know, it's not, it's not something I pride myself. Oh, come on. It is, okay. It's not something that I'm, like, super happy about or anything. Not that it's something to be super unhappy about. It's just one of those things. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and get back every single one of my missiles. That's that. Maybe if it was the 5-in-1s the or the 3-in-1s. But not, not this. So what is the, what is the, really? Okay. But yeah, it, it's, it's a crutch word, it's a bad habit. 
I've developed bad habits, okay? When you really think about it, I basically haven't done, like, serious playthroughing since, like, 2015. Like, 2016 was kind of a decline. I'm not going to get into the whole specifics of the matter, but it was kind of a decline of me doing playthroughs. I didn't really do nearly as many as I used to. I'd say that the last, like full-on contiguous playthrough I used I did back when I was you know still doing it like all the time was the Metroid Prime trilogy uh, after I did the Metroid Prime trilogy and look at this oh shit dude don't tell me I'm gonna fall I should have jumped shouldn't I okay because I don't know what's below me okay all right. Uh, the last real, like, serious, continuous playthrough I did was, uh, Metroid Prime 3. I finished that. Uh, what ended up happening is I went on vacation, and after that, just things were just one big fucking hectic ride from start to unfortunate finish. It was, uh, just, just to say the least. After that, I, I went away for vacation for, like, two weeks. I, I don't think I really uploaded anything those two weeks, because I was like, I'm on vacation, or maybe I scheduled something, I can't remember. And, uh, that was kind of it. Oh, shit. That was kind of it, uh, for old school Spray and Pray playthroughs. It's kind of crazy when you really think about it, that, or when I think about it, at least, it's, it's kind of really ridiculous. Uh, how, just how weird things turned out. They can go through walls, alright. Why are they, like, so OP in this game? But when it comes to fusion, they're, they're super slug. I mean, again, you could say that the X are not mimicking them properly, but it's kind of weird. I also didn't investigate that one corner piece right there, that L shape. I didn't investigate it, so I'm sure someone will point out there's an easily obtainable pickup in it. Look at that. Okay. But yeah, uh... There it is again, by the way. I'm, I'm being mindful, okay? I'm, I'm getting a little better at it. It's going to take a long time to unlearn a crutch habit, basically. Really? There's nothing over here. Nothing at all. It's just a pit. We had to fill in the room somehow, is what they said. Huh, yeah, I guess that's that's literally what they did. It's kind of cool, you can see how all the set pieces are designed for this game, too. Like, some of them are just overlay effects, but you can actually see that the roots are actually on the blocks. It's pretty cool. Alright, whatever. If that's it, then I don't, I don't really care. Ooh! Secret! Wow! It's a lot of expansions in Meridia, by the way. I just want to point that out. There's a lot of expansions. Oops, I forget you can't run with this out. Okay. Was there one other room I needed to... Yeah, I need to go to the right side of uh, the other room now. There we go. Definitely a lot more hidden paths that are the actual correct paths in this game. Without a doubt. It's also kind of cloudy today. Oh, you have to power bomb. Okay. Fuck it. Save again. Oh, they do hurt you. Okay, well, obviously you're supposed to... Shit, I did it wrong. Skip that shit. That's what you're supposed to do. But I will make a restore point here, just just because. Takes two seconds. You might as well do it. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck?
Oh, maybe you're not supposed to. Oh, you could almost... There you go. Okay. Is this what I'm supposed to do? What? They rush you? Oh, you for fucking real. Get the fuck out of here. Now I'll, now I'll figure out that I need him, by the way. Speed booster. He also came back, by the way. So I'm supposed to speed booster and then go up from there. So I wonder what the grapple points are for. I tried to grapple him. Put him in a leg hold first. They're like booze. They probably have the same AI coding as booze, to be completely truthful. Because it looks like when you look away, they charge at you. A clever girl. Right. So it's not a grapple puzzle at all. So what's the point of the grapple parts? Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That's right, bitch. I played other Metroid games. Damn fucking straight. Ain't gonna get me with that shit. I've been playing these games since I was like seven. Ugh. When you really think about it, that's a long. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm I'm old, but that's a long time ago, man. That's, dude. I mean, we're talking other worlds of time ago. The best part is, is I feel that this is easier than Zero Mission. Like, on a first playthrough. I feel like someone would do better on this game than Zero Mission. Zero Mission is actually kind of difficult. Like, this game is pretty forgiving. I mean, it might just be tedious, because without the restore point... Oh, I'm at full, okay. Without the restore point, it might be annoying. Woo! Clearly... Clearly nothing. I think this is where you fall to. Is there a chamber above this? Yeah, if you fall in that chamber, you end up in here. Okay, I got it. But I'm not gonna fall in that chamber because I'm gonna speed boost it through. So we're actually ready to progress, so I'm... I'm sorry to... Oh, oh, fuck that thing. Sorry for the, the weight. gonna progress now. Gotta love that slowdown. I mean, it's indicative of an era of gaming, so I don't hate it. It's not like today's games where it's like, oh, why is this game super slow? Which is, which is kind of, I don't, I, I really don't, like, totally accept it in, like, modern day games. Because it's kind of like, what the fuck, dude? There's, there has to be something down here. It wouldn't have you do all this shit, and it's for nothing. Right? Unless you're supposed to sink through this. No, I don't think you are. What is the point of all this? I'm so confused. Is this the big tube? I don't think it will take me to another room. Right? They wouldn't just let you come down here for no reason. Like, there's got to be a reason why they let you come down here. I don't know if it's maybe the speed booster back up. No. I actually really don't know. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm actually, here's, here's what I'll do, right? 
I'll create a restore point for no real reason because I don't think this is going to really screw me over to any degree. I'm going to go over to this second patch and I'm going to intentionally sink into the quicksand. This is hell! Holy shit, this is fucking hell! Start shooting! Yeah, the I, enemy's phasing through walls needs to not. Okay, you can only go down. Oh no! Okay! So there's actually secret rooms that you kinda need to get to, I see. Through sinking down into the... into the sands. only get to them if you do this. What? Does it spawn again? Okay. That was a dirty trick. Shouldn't do that. Children play this game. Come on. So now how do you... That's Pitfall. was actually kind of a nasty little trick. Alright, so I think you have to be out over here somewhere to initiate. Okay. Yeah, like it's a fucking Mario game. Oh, I see. I see why this is difficult. Because you gotta... By the way, pitfall blocks don't break individually in this game, as you can see. They don't, they break as a set. So let me save, just so I don't have to run this loop a million times. The easiest way might be just to do the morph ball bomb jump. There you go. Alright. We got the fourth reserve tank, and there's also a missile across the way. So this is actually worth it. It was worth it for me to fall down here. I know that this is no progress, but I mean that is a uh, that is part of the whole super missile or super missile, the whole Metroid experience. So, fair enough. We're getting there. I mean, obviously we know where to go and what to do, but at least this will help me out a little bit. Now, unfortunately, the only way out of here is to basically start over. It's unfortunate, but pretty much the only way for me to continue progressing is to start everything I did over. Because I don't think I can take the pipe. Oh wait, maybe I can. Is it possible to take the pipe back to lower uh, Upper Maria? Which also means I need to go down the other sand. Uh... Alright, whatever. Here's what I'll do. I'll sink here. Can you sink here? Oh, I guess not. How do you get out of here, then? Okay. To sink in a specific spot. Oh, good! This room. Hell. Come on. Get the fuck out. There we go. Don't ask me why this works. It just does. How did I... How do you get up there? Okay. Can you break these blocks? No. This is like the bottom level of Meridia. Kind of crazy all this existed, you know, during the first game. Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, no, this is what I wanted. Never mind. This is exactly what I wanted. Like how they give you a, a split shot of a mock trade. So, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, okay, I guess this room does not link back that way. The good news is I do kind of want to be here. Of 
because clearly you're supposed to be able to get into that room. The problem is, is I don't know how to get into it. Is it locked because it's a one-way room? Like, can I get into it from the side? No, it looks like you're supposed to be able to enter it. So maybe I have to completely sweep this room and eliminate every enemy. Which, by the way, is no easy task because the room is quite large. I how he was unaffected because he was slightly scrolled off screen. Off screen! These guys are later in Sector 5. It's like most of the enemies that are in Meridia are not in Sector 4 at all. Didn't really do a great job of uh, categorizing them. Galactic Federation didn't give a shit. I can do the wall kick 90% of the time now, it seems. Ledges? Who needs them? Yeah, I don't have any idea how to make this door open. I I've killed every enemy in this room. There's no hidden enemies that I can see or detect. I have no clue how to make this door open. There, there must be like some very obscure criteria to make it open. I don't know what it is. And I'm just going to keep going, unfortunately. It sucks, but I, unless I, I'm going to give this room like one sweep, and if I can't find any enemies, I'm just going to keep moving on. But I'm pretty sure I've killed every enemy in this room now. Unless there's like a hidden, a hidden portion of the room somewhere that they're intentionally hiding just so that way you won't find it, you'll get frustrated and you'll leave. But I just don't want to spend half an hour in this room and it's just me trying to sweep this room for like an invisible enemy that may or may not even exist. Because I'm looking. No, no tricks here. Like, I love the x-ray scope, but I don't think it's lying to me. There, there must be some other criteria to opening the door that you would only know once you fulfill it or something like that unless the answer is super obvious and i'm just missing it but like there's no fish wait i did i cleared that right yeah that's the other side so the only other thing that could be here is something over here maybe but it doesn't seem like it. It seems this is pretty straightforward. Well, I give up. There's some way into it. I'm sure the secret, obviously, everyone knows it by now. It does, this game is literally older than I am. But for the life of me, it's only older by one year, to be honest. But for the life of me, I can't figure it out, so forget it. I know I'm not trying super hard, but the last thing I want to do is run like eight laps around this room accomplish nothing, and then... No, well, I, I, I tried. Uh... So let's just go back the fucking long way. It sucks, but what can I do, right? Also, the new way I record, I can't really mark the video anymore. So, I mean, it's kind of a give and take. <sighs> So whatever. How do you get out of here? Bombs? Okay. That did that really didn't work out the way I wanted it to at all, by the way. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh come on. Dude, fuck this room. Seriously. Cause I need the somersault. I can't get the somersault. Dude, Samus, come on! Samus! Fuck this. Jeez, man. No! Oh, fuck! Come 
I hope I never have to do this room again. These rooms are fucking awful. Okay. When you do it like this, it's much easier. down there. I don't think... Do I need to go back down there? I don't think so. I don't even think I need to save. All I'm doing is running back to the same place. Oh, wait, no. I don't think I can go this way, right? Yeah, this is that room. This shit won't remain open. Fuck. I gotta go back around. You know, as much as I like getting those power-ups, I'm not gonna lie, getting them has completely just added a bunch of travel time for the most part. I think there's a fourth one that comes out. Yep, I knew it. Okay. Get the good team again. Farmers? Yeah, one farmer. The good news is because I need health right now, these guys are going to give me nothing but health. So, that's good. I like that these guys respawn quickly, too. Seems like these little bugs are always the best. But these bugs and the, the, the Cyclops bugs, they're always fucking good. Because they always give you what you need. I mean, not only that, but they also respawn really quickly. So you could just do this. I think I'm full, I guess? Unless my reserve tanks take hits for me. Does it deplete from the reserve tank first? Right? Because I... Okay, so I just took a hit right there. I don't think it does. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay. Why did I think it did for a second there? I mean, they keep giving me health. It's kind of weird. Alright, well. What? Okay. One pixel off, mind you. Wait, I never went to the right. Oh, no, 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 okay, yeah, no, I did, I did, I did. That's, that's the normal way you go through Meridia. Aw, oh, don't take away that theme. That theme is the fucking awesome theme. Makes me want to replay uh, Prime 2. Damn, dude, I tell you, that, that Metroid Prime trilogy was like the perfect ending to like my initial run of playthroughs, which was like about five and a half years. It was so fitting. It starts with Metroid Prime, and it kind of ended with Metroid Prime Trilogy. It just, it just feels right, you know? And now here we are. We're in this. We're in the future, and the future sucks. The future's awesome. How am I doing this again? Uh, I'm going to the right side of the room. Yeah, and then there's a down door there, okay. Fuck yeah, why not? I already got this month's playthroughs kind of lined up anyway. Which is nice, because there's not a lot of new games. Oh, fuck! There's not a lot of new games coming out. Which is nice, so I can kind of manage, hopefully. I'm hoping to finish up a couple of games. Now that I'm back into making playthroughs. I took a, I took a bit of a break this year. I'm not going to lie. Oof, that was close. Oh, I got fucked right there. I took a bit of a break from playthroughs, for the most part. Like, I played the Assassin's Creed... Uh, I played the Assassin's Creed. I played Assassin's Creed Origins, and I played the DLC. Um, which was fun, and I really did enjoy that. And I'm totally not just saying that just because I spent a lot of time in it. I actually did enjoy the game a lot, compared to previous Assassin's Creed's. 
which Assassin's Creed has kind of been this series I do a fuck ton of playthroughs on, on my channel for like no reason at all. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. My, the worst playthrough I ever did was Assassin's Creed 3. I thought that game was fucking awful. But then Assassin's Creed 4 the next year was one of my favorite playthroughs I've ever done to this day. Which is pretty fucking cool when you really think about it. I know I'm literally fucking up. That's because I'm rushing right now. I really ought to not. I need to take my time. Take it easy. A leisurely swinging session. Seriously gonna make a gif out of the, uh... I'm gonna go back to one of those rooms with the circular swings, and I'm just gonna swing on it for, for like, 30 seconds and make a nice gif out of it. High speed as well. It'll be beautiful. But yeah, I played that, and then I kind of did a few other things, and I said I was going to do a lot of playthroughs this year. It, it just kind of didn't really materialize. Uh, I, I can't, I can't work like I used to. It is basically what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. Okay. Can't really chug out playthroughs. Like I used to. I used to make playthroughs like literally all the fucking time. Oh wow, if they get hit with speed booster, they just go flying, okay. So how does this work? It's to the left? Yeah, okay, it's to the left. There were times... Oh, fuck you, you fucking... That, that is some ridiculous shit. There were times when I was like five, four years younger, I would literally wake up uh, since it was like high school and I basically got most of my work done pretty much right away. Um, not that I was a great student or anything. I, uh, I pretty much would just like wake up and just do playthroughs. Uh, and that was, that would, that would just kind of be it. I would just, that's all I would really do. So, I mean, now it's, it's, uh, it, it used to be so simple to figure that out. Okay. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm not going down the right side. Maybe there is a pick up there. Oh, well. I'm not doing it. I already forgot. I, I'd rather just progress. I think I'm good enough. If anything, the only thing I probably need more of are energy tanks. So there'll be an energy tank on that route. Just, 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 to, just to completely fuck with me. There'll be an energy tank on that route. Personally put there by Sakamoto. Oh, by the way, there's a pickup there. Oh, fuck. No, 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 We're not doing this shit. Fuck off. Okay. Figure this one out. Got it. Okay, well, there's my energy tank. Make sure there's nothing else. Oh, you could jump. Oh, this is just a safe passageway through this if you don't want a speed booster, if you if you messed it up. There's five of these things that spawn at once. Damn. It's just a safe passage if you went to get the, the pickup. They don't punish you too harshly. slaughter for no reason. Alright, so now we're going to keep moving forward. Believe it or not, I am capable of making progress in a playthrough. You're not Metroids. Metroids are bigger. Metroids are bigger. <laughs> I guess those uh, grapple beam points are there if you're not really that good at uh, 
wall kicking. Now this session, I'm amazing at it, for the most part. For just no fucking reason, by the way. Wait, so how are you supposed to get over this? Oh shit. Alright, I'm okay at it. Let's, let's, let's leave it at that. Okay, that's not even really an angle I could wall kick off of anyway. I, I could do it off of something like this, because it's, it's literally just flat. Flat is justice, my friends. And this sand isn't that aggressive anyway. So I guess you're supposed to swing? Fuck that. What am I gonna do? Okay, it looks like... Can I get away with it again? Yes, I can, but this time it's gonna be a little bit harder. Okay, I got both of them. Oh, oh. There's a pickup in the room below. Fuck. There's a sweet spot right here. Shit. There's a sweet spot right there that I need to hit in order to launch myself out enough to clear the top. It's like, it's, it's probably this band right here. No, it's gotta be one... Go ah! Okay, it's right there. It's like the one brick above it. Got it. Okay, this I will actually grapple for because I'm trying to get over there. Okay, we have a save and upgrade, and I think we're right above the boss, so it's likely that this is a trap. Oh no, it's just energy recharge, which I don't need. They're actually nice. Alright, there you go. It's like the one of the only energy recharge stations in all of Meridia. Right? Yeah, so is there any way to, like, get to the room below? I have no clue how to enter this room. So let, let's look around here. Maybe, because they put stuff in save spots before. I like how the glass just disappears. Like, look at this. Is that anything? No. It's, it's a ceiling. Yes. But you can never, never trust anything, because this is exactly how they would, like, really get you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the previous room and sink into the sand. Oh, okay, there's a door right here. But there's something for for falling into the sand. You know I have to do it. What the fuck? If I do this, where am I going to end up? Okay, it looks like I'll end up right below, which is fine. What? Oh, you just... You just take damage. Oh. Well, how are you supposed to know where you're supposed to sink to? Whatever. You know what? Let me just go back and investigate the room then. Yo, Metroid needs to stop fucking around and playing tricks and shit. Find the Metroid larva. Did you forget what you were doing in this game? Also, they showed it a death screen. Like, what? Samus is dead. You won't be finding anything. Okay, so apparently there's a way to get into this room. Yes, there you have it. You gonna be a bitch? That's how we roll. 
All right, and they clip through each other. What the fuck are these things? It's just a missile recharge. Oh, come on. You know what? Should I, I almost just want to reload. It wasn't even worth it. It's just a missile recharge room. Forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and do what I know I have to do. I don't even need missile recharges. Wow, that one breaks... I didn't take damage from the spikes, though. That one breaks fucking instantly, though. You saw that? Oh, the spikes don't hurt, apparently. What? Oh, okay. Shoot it first. There you go. That's pretty weird, but okay. Doing all these, like, weird, dirty tricks. Uh, is, is that how I'm supposed to get to the boss? Oh, okay, these spikes just happen to be fake. Oh, okay, so you enter the room from over here. Oh, fuck off. Alright, this is the boss. This is actually, like, the named boss. I think Fantoon was also one, and obviously Kraid was one. Kraid kind of comes back in this game just to do the job. You kill him so early in the game. What the fuck am I fighting? Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking seahorse. What the fuck? Why do I not remember this? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, shit! Well, now I remember that. Why is a gigantic seahorse working for the space pirates? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't remember how to get out of this. Can I ever escape from this dude? The worst part is you know he's off screen and I have no clue like I have no clue how to escape from him because he's off fucking screen. Like I have no clue where he's gonna fly from. This is fucking annoying. I already knew this was annoying. Can you like grapple beam yourself to that shit? Yeah, here we go. I remember this part. You can basically overload him and kill him. That's the cheese strat. You don't actually have to fight him if you can grapple over there. And basically, I think, what, you need, like, maybe three... Uh-oh, well, they take away their dead. You can, uh, if you have enough energy tanks, you can just overload him and kill him that way. You don't actually have to fight him. He's kind of like Ridley a bit. All right, whatever. I remember that as soon as I saw that he like you could in, kind of influence it with the grapple beam. I'm not really sure if the grapple beam is like charged or some shit. But now look at this, we get the the nice blur effect. My favorite pickup in every Metroid game. All right, anyway. Works pretty pretty similarly to what I'm used to. I know you get it reasonably early in Fusion, but in Zero Mission, you don't get it till like the very end of the game. As a bonus pickup. 
This is a pretty fucking crazy effect, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing is you can't turn a normal jump into a, a space jump if, you, if you've already started your vertical jump. Unlike in Metroid's of Future, you can change your jumps after you've already started jumping. So now this basically makes the, the wall jump kind of useless, honestly, unless it's a tight area. What the fuck? Thank you. Probably also makes it easier to execute. Do you have to keep pushing it? It's, it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Let me guess, this door is now, yep. Probably all those other doors that were closed are now open because I killed the boss. Okay. What? Yeah, like sometimes I, it just doesn't let you jump again. That's weird. Oh, look, it's the third one of these. Screw attack. Why wouldn't Samus still have the screw attack? I know, I'm asking that question again. I know. Especially with what we know about about the future. Okay, anyway. Fuck it. Alright. Fuck it. So this is finally the other side. Like, we're finally getting to the, the complete other side of all these different areas. So I'm guessing now I'm supposed to go back to this room. Now they've basically taken me back here. I can go up and I can get that. That we know is a missile charge station. So we're done. I think the only thing left to do is to go back to Norfair. Which is to the right. I don't think... Yeah, you can't look at other area maps. Oh, well. Alright, fuck this. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm missing two energy tanks. I'm about to die! Two out of what? Like, nine? I'm gonna die! Yeah, and that's it. Cancels it. Like, yeah, you can't like you have like you can't jump after a certain point if like you you fuck it up. This, I get this is like the prototype. This is version 1.0 compared to the ones I'm used to, but it, it's it's kind of it's a struggle for sure. Well. Good thing the wall kicks are there. I missed that. That not being in, I definitely missed. Because I'm now that I'm actually getting better at it, it's uh it's becoming easier. So that's why I, I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be able to. Oh nice. I wasn't supposed to be able to get into that the way I did with the wall kicks. See? Even though it is technically easier. Now I can actually enter this room. Like, can you believe it? Dude, the straight jump is the worst part of this game, in my opinion. Because you can't turn it into a somersault. In a game where most of the aerial mechanics are about somersaulting. Okay. Got it. Not that that room was, like, difficult or anything. What the fuck is this? It's the blob, alright. Oh, great. Screw attack? No, the plasma beam, okay. 
So now this will probably let me cook these motherfuckers, which will be good. It's kind of weird that a beam that shoots plasma also fires super cool to uh, anything, to be honest. It freezes enemies. Listen, I'm not a chem major or anything. Seems kind of suspect to me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's talking about how I can penetrate things. Samus has a... Samus kind of has a lot of abilities that the Flash has, you know what I mean? Look at that, now I can shoot through enemies as well. What is that? Isn't that what the Wave Beam lets me penetrate? So what does this do? Because the Wave Beam is the ultimate beam in fusion. It's kind of weird. They kind of change the beam's properties a lot. Uh... I remember in Prime when I forgot the wave beam. This is back before I could do all this stuff in a day, you know, because of time and everything. I was kind of like, oh, this is fucking lit. I remember being so excited that it was a, a new way to kill enemies. More senseless death and destruction for the Death God. I'm sure there's more secrets. I don't give a shit. I'm leaving. I'm sure I'll regret those words when it comes to the final boss. Can I finally... There we go. Thank you. Fuck you. Special fuck you to all of you. I like these enemies in Fusion. I think they're cute, cuddly, and they don't really try to attack you. Here, just just genocide, man. It's kind of really cool, because playing Fusion, uh, like, looking back on it, Fusion does a lot of really ridiculous stuff, which is pretty nice. I like it. I like that they, uh, they tried, you know? Like, like, this SAX is no nemesis, but it is still pretty cool in its own right for what it does when it did it. Granted, Nemesis is an older game than, uh, Metroid Fusion, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. I'm gonna save, and then we're just gonna go ahead to, uh, Norfair. I think the gravity suit protects you from lava, maybe? So what do you need the plasma beam for? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go back to Norfair. That only pickup isn't a pickup, it's a missile room. And I don't need to recharge my missiles. Plus, I'm not going all the way back over there. 